Layering. We've been talking about different layers of modifiers in a phrase, especially a noun phrase. So on the basis of one substitution that there are good grounds for distinguishing two types of prepositional phrase after the head noun. One, the ordinary post, post modifier like the, uh, from Paris and two, the complement uh, like element which are closely linked to the noun and they are like uh, subcategorized categories in a verb phrase, right? So these noun like modifiers, right? So they make the uh, prepositional phrase, post pre uh, modifier in two types. So one substitution obligatorily affects a head noun and any complement like element. So that is important, right? That it affects the complement like uh, element in a noun phrase. Either it affects the noun or it affects anything more than noun which is complement like, right? Not second type of prepositional uh, type of modifier. The bun substitution may but not need not involve further pre modifiers and post modifiers. So the unit consisting of a head noun and its complement, for example, uh, phrase B uh, four above, is often indicated by n bar or n prime, right? So we do it like this. N bar is the first projection of the noun. So n bar may further combine with other modifier and finally with determiner specifier to form higher level of structure indicated by n uh, with two bars, right? So that is the 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 element is uh, this tells us that the elements are found into different layers, not straight away in a linear way in a flat manner. The structure provisionally posted in 7 may now be represented as follows. For example, we can find that we have student and this is a noun and we have a noun phrase which is of English. So this is the first post modifier which has a noun like a modifier of a noun. Right, and then we have different layers in which we go up to we find the noun with two bars. So n bar one and n bar two are projections of n. The highest n is called maximal projection, right? And other levels between n bar twos and maximal projection are called intermediate uh, projection, right? So the tree diagram 12 that we've just discussed can be converted into a label, labeled bracketing uh, manifestation. So we can say that n bar, 2 bar these, n bar, 2 bar nice, and 2 bar French, uh, and n bar single, now you can say maximal uh, projection, and that is the, before that was the intermediate projection, student of English from Paris. So different layers help us in understanding that at what time which constituent was added, right, in terms of layers. And it also tells that one type of element may have a further distinction that one may, uh, may be strongly attached to, other, uh, to the head than the other. And for this, for discussing, um, uh, here discussing um, the post modifier, we have distinguished one type of uh, post modifier and, and uh, we said that it is like the complement that, uh, like verbs. So nouns too have complements as verbs have complements.